We were almost at the midway stage of season six in the Hero Indian Super League. Tonight, FC Goa has the opportunity to move to the top of the league with home success against the Disher FC. Welcome to the Fatorda as we bring you match 44. And he got the crucial goal here last Saturday on the 14th. The clinching goal in the 66 to give them a 2-1 triumph against ATK. And it's a disher who play it long straight for Adi. Manda might provide the perfect ball inside for an opener. And it just evades uh, Koro at the near post. But what timely defending at the back stick. Solid work from Lenny. Matata stayed up there. Deflection! It looked like it was going to sneak in. Bamu launched. Asked it. He was going for it. How many times have we seen that this season? Set pieces, the initial ball's been cleared and teams have switched off in the second phase. Matata picks it up, plays as a left fullback in their build-up play. Darian plays it sweetly to the left. Good jink inside. There's a free header for their top scorer, no one picked him up. He made the right run, what about the cross? If that hits target, you're sensing it's the first goal of the game. Yeah, we saw this last night, he can get quality delivery into the box. It's back inside, it's routine, isn't it? As simple and as sweet as that, 19 minutes in. Won't get an easier goal to put away. Just seconds ago, we're watching where Addition looked like they might take the lead. But FC Goa have opened the account. Jerry lost the ball in the middle of the park. I wonder what the start is now. Oh, they've given it away. Koro waits for the support. Instead of playing it square where Bamu was, Len thought, well, you know what? I might sneak one into the near post. And the keeper did extremely well after the early error no, this is just their own undoing the pick Carlos Delgado not switched on for that ball not the best of passes and Lendl Moore with probably his first touch since coming on just chancing his luck almost catching the keeper out out of only just one chance for him tonight the header and now that is a pass and a half and the man who was promoted, he's saying it took a deflection. Martin Perez made the absolutely brilliant run into the box. What a ball it was from the target man. Brilliant ball from Aridane. Hopefully it's nothing more than just a dislocation. They probably have time to push it back, pop it back in, and he'll be used to that. But great start for FC Goa, and I'm sure I'm going to enjoy the second half to look forward to. FC Goa leading by one goal to nil to make their first ever appearance in the Hero Indian Super League and yet another player aged 22 and under. That's 18 of those 26 players at 22 years and under. Very attacking formation that he had these two bombing down the wings. Well, Bamu waited, slots it across and Koro didn't expect that. And we didn't expect that. You normally see when Hugo Bumo gets into these kind of areas, he just manages to drop the defender, fake him, and when that ball's dropped for Koro, normally you're expecting to say 2 0, game over. I'll cut it to you for some club football and wasn't too impressive there. And now impressive is the young keeper for FC Goa. That was sneaking inside that post. And wouldn't that have been a fantastic equaliser? Well, we've seen Chisco pop up at the near post with a couple of goals this season, but you wouldn't expect him to get a header. Deft touch by Koro for Len. Don't go! Top save at the other end. Arsdeep Singh keeping his team in the game. Len Dungo. He goes in search of a second goal this season. And once again, it's, it's, it comes from what we were just talking about, whether you know the likes of Carlos Delgado sprinted forward for that. Aridane to Narian. Narian. Great ball and the header. Aridane knows. He knows deep down 
He had time to pick his spot, but it was an easy one for the keeper. Referee waves play on. Cora wanted it earlier. It goes behind him. It goes to Edu Padilla. Oh, that's a goal. The keeper didn't read it well. Brandon Fernandez from distance lets loose. His first of the season, his fourth goal in 44 games. And I think that is the ball game. Delgado. Uh... Oh, it's spilled. Coro is trying to get around and put the ball away. Has he given a penalty? Surely not. He's given I a penalty. He has. Maybe that's why he doesn't take Coro off. Come on, Cora, give it a Jahu. Um, the keeper spills it. Cora likes to go to the keeper's right. Let's see if he changes it. Not tonight. Coro Scoro has two to his name. Six for the season. And remember, he missed three games for injury. No, we, we knew where he was going. Keeper seemed to know where it was going, but he still can't do anything about it because he's just lifted it at that perfect height and losing Jerry too hasn't helped them because I don't think Romeo's done much. As, well, we, as we see Coro almost <laughs> pop up with a hat trick. trick. Credit to the young keeper getting down to his right in the very last minute of stoppages. And that's the difference in these moments, is these big players. You saw that chance that Odisha had early in the first half with Martin Guedes, where he took the touch away. And those are the differences in these games, having the likes of a, a Coro and the likes of you know, Edu Badias who can come on and change the games. And that's probably just been the difference between these two teams tonight.